Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 13th of October 2016. So yesterday for the 12th, we were waiting for the FOMC meeting at 7 p.m., well, just the minutes, actually. Uh, we had a, a sell signal at uh, 15.40. This was uh, actually filled. And we then see the market uh, find support as it heads down towards the uh, 18,100 find support and reverses, and then puts in a buy signal leaving a 21 point loss there as the market then moved to the upside recovering the actual loss and then uh, trading sideways and then of course at uh, 7 p.m. this is the only reaction we got from the initial release of the FOMC minutes and unlike from 2008 all the way through to around 2000 and probably 14 early 15 used to get a really good reaction, you get 100 points or more after, but not anymore, and that's because uh, the Federal Reserve are out of ammunition and everybody knows it, so basically what gets released is already known, I suppose, it's already factored in. We then did have uh, <coughs> a sell signal, uh, this also uh, went on to move down to the 20 point scale before the close, and the market has since uh, fallen out of bed due to uh, uh, dismal China trade data and there you can see in the graphs there exports year on year in China imports so you can see they're actually importing more than they're exporting now global slowdown talked about this last year so in the daily charts uh, we're breaking more to the downside at the moment so we seem to come out of that sideways move uh, taking out the uh, uh, 18,059 18,000 is a crucial level as I said many many times in the market alert 18,000 is a very big psychological level so you'll see how the market's been brought back each time it's got down to those sorts of uh, levels but will it this time we're certainly sideways we're heading up for the election if you can call it that uh, more like the presidential reality show uh, in my opinion uh, absolute farce but uh, it is what it is I'm afraid we don't get a choice uh, well you think you would but uh, you don't news wise uh, crude oil inventories which I spoke about yesterday also 130 US uh, unemployment figures these are just the weekly ones so let's see what happens on the crude oil front uh, uh, 0 0.4 million barrels uh, previous minus 3 million there implied volatility well that's 13.5 uh, but it will be higher because we've got the drop off in uh, the stock market after the implied volatility figures were given so this moving up uh, sharply from uh, the lows and the market certainly you know moving lower but very choppy in its uh, in the way that it's actually doing it so that's it really, there's uh, not a lot else to uh, report. Deutsche Bank did uh, a deal yesterday, got rid of one and a half billions worth of junk bonds or created one and a half billion of junk bonds. That's just being levitated as well, uh, this side of the US elections as well. They're just holding that up, there's no doubts about that. You can see that uh, its balance sheet, it can't really be anything other than uh, fall apart but of course the last thing uh, Obama wants is a banking crisis just before he leaves so they'll wait for the next one to come in and if Trump gets it then they'll throw the lot at him uh, if Hillary gets in they'll find a way of uh, bail-ins and everything else because uh, she's bought and paid for by the bankers but uh, Trump of course is his own man Not uh, neither of them will be any good but uh, that's what uh, they've uh, they've got. Uh, so just uh, pointing out a few things there uh, between the two of them, and what is likely to happen. Certainly a market uh, crash if Trump gets in, if Hillary gets in, market rally. Right, that's it. I will uh, see you in tomorrow. So unless anything happens during the day, I will uh, report in. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.